video, I'll show you how to access the analytics dashboard in Oracle Mobile Cloud Service and drill down into the various reports that you can use to get insight into your mobile apps and understand if your mobile strategy is working. I'm Didi Morton from the Oracle Mobile Platform team. Let's get started. As a mobile program manager at your organization, you need quick access to real-time information about your mobile applications so you can continuously monitor and improve your mobile strategy. With MCS Analytics, this is easy. Let's head on into the Analytics Dashboard and take a look. Here you see the Analytics Dashboard, where you get a high-level view of all mobile applications that have connected to your mobile backends over the past seven days. The map shows a number of active users by location. MCS considers a user to be active if that user or device has previously sent event data to MCS. At the bottom of the report, you see averages for the number of new users, active users, and sessions per day. The bar graphs show overall trends. You can choose to view the data for all backends, or you can select a specific backend. You'll be able to see analytics for any environments that you've been granted access to. For example, if you only have access to the development environment, you won't see data for other environments such as production. If you're an administrator, of course, you can see everything. From the dashboard, you can drill down into details about the application users. You can see the number of new users per day over a period of time, allowing you to gauge the adoption rate of your mobile applications. You can see data for all mobile applications or a specific application and you can group the data by properties, such as the client application or country, so that you can spot trends over time. Here you see that the adoption rate in the U.S. has been increasing rapidly, while the adoption rate in other countries has not. Maybe you need to look more closely at your marketing strategy to determine if it's working. Within the report, you can change the date range to show data for longer or shorter periods of time, and you can toggle the chart to change the display between a line chart and a bar chart. You can even click the icon next to the key to turn specific data points in the chart on and off. Okay, so those are some reports that you can view to gain a better understanding of your users. You can also use MCS Analytics to assess user engagement. Let's look at those reports next. In the session count report, you can see the total and daily number of sessions over a specified period of time, and as with other MCS reports, you can view the data for a specific application, and you can group the data by properties, such as a client application or country, to gain more insight into how your mobile apps are being used. In the session duration report, you can gauge user engagement by seeing how long users are staying connected, and you can group the data by application to see which mobile apps they're using the most. MCS also provides reports to help you track the usage and performance of your services. In the API Calls Count report, you can see how many calls were made to your services. You can see data on the platform APIs as well as any custom APIs that you've exposed through your mobile backends. And you can drill down on specific endpoints to see how frequently they're being called. In the API Calls Response Time report, you can see how long in milliseconds it's taking your services to respond. Switch to the bar graph to compare the response time against the number of calls. By analyzing the data in these reports, you can determine whether you are failing on any of your service level agreements. All the reports that you've seen so far come out of the box with MCS. You simply ensure that your application uses the MCS Mobile Client SDK, and then all you have to do is call the Analytics API from your mobile app code, and you get the reports about users, sessions, and API calls for free. MCS also graphs analytics about custom events. Custom events, you'll recall, are events that you define in the mobile app code to log specific kinds of information that you want to analyze. For example, you might define a custom event that gets logged whenever the user searches the knowledge base. Here in the events report, you see custom events defined to track each step in the technician's workflow, such as accepting a new work order or putting a work order on hold. You can select a specific event, let's select Work Order Accepted, to see the number of times that the event occurred. To see more detail about the event, you can group the data by specific properties, such as the location, or even specific details about the client, such as the application or device. 
When you define a custom event, you can also specify custom properties that capture additional information about the event. Here you see custom properties that are defined for the work order accepted event. Let's group the data by the appliance manufacturer, and you can see the work orders that have been accepted grouped by the appliance manufacturer. You can also filter the report by specific properties so that you only see the data that you want to see. So let's say that you want to see all work orders accepted in the state of California. You would click the Add Filter icon and select State from the list. Next, you would select Equal CA and then apply the filter. Notice that you can apply multiple filters to the report. To remove the filter, simply highlight it and click the X sign. For custom events, MCS also supports creating funnels. Funnel analysis allows you to track user progress through a workflow, such as a shopping cart, allowing you to see how many users complete the workflow and where in the process users drop off. So, as the example shows, you could create a funnel to analyze a checkout process to determine how many users drop off at each step in the process. And then you could use this information to decide whether the checkout process needs improvement. Let's learn how to create a funnel. To create a funnel, you add the custom events that you want to analyze as part of the workflow. For this report, let's add the steps in the technician's workflow. Notice that you can see the number of users who have entered each step and the percentage who completed the step. Because you construct funnels from custom events, you can see where and why users are blocked from completing the workflow by looking at event properties. Notice that you can also specify filters for the report, just like you did for the events report, but we won't do that right now. Here you can see that many work orders are on hold. If you select the work order on hold event, you can see the reasons over time for work orders being put on hold. It looks like quite a few work orders are on hold because customers aren't at home. Maybe you could fix this problem by sending an email or text reminder the day before a scheduled visit. So as you can see, Custom events give you a lot of flexibility for analyzing specific information about your application so that you can work to improve your application's popularity, effectiveness, or efficiency. Now you know about the various reports that are available for viewing analytics about your mobile applications. From here, you'll want to explore the Analytics API and start implementing support for analytics in your mobile applications. Mm -hmm.